everybody, this is Robin. I'm here with Juicy. We are starting this tutorial with Terra Nova by uh, Deborah Lippman and Hey Sexy by Dazzle Dry and Car Service by Twyla True. I want to thank Dazzle Dry for sending me a whole bunch of new French manicure polishes and she even talked about making Robin Moses colors. So if mm -hmm. you want to see some Robin Moses colors by Dazzle Dry, please tell Dazzle Dry that you want to. And we are going to paint some uh, Day of the Dead Girls for fall. So I have them all colored like this. The, the uh, tan, dark brown, tan, then the Dazzle Dry uh, shiny, and tan. And I will meet you back. Hi everybody, so I'm back and I'm ready to paint. I forgot what we were doing. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm, uh, I've got, oh, let me get your, okay. So I got my flesh tone in here. You choose whatever flesh tone you want and we're gonna build up using white and, and we're gonna use darks using brown and black. So purple, yellow, all the fall colors. So um, I'm going in with a neutral, like an N20, 20, N25 in uh, matte colors. So I'm going like this and then going like this. This is what I love, 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 love about doing nails that aren't microscopic. So. When, when I started my channel, I wanted to do nails on regular nail people. I didn't want to have like a whole bunch of beautiful nails, like just perfect nails. I wanted everybody's nails to have a certain look. So if you had real small nails, you could learn how to paint on them. But it sure is nice having a big nail every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> Let me just say that. So um, I have this on. Now I'm going to um, begin to do the, the fall. So the fall, I have brown and I'm mixing a little bit of black in with it so it gets a little darker into a dark the chocolate brown. I'm going to the corners and I'm pulling it across the nail in a, a fall leaf type pattern like this. Okay. Now she is going to have be a day of the dead girl. So with that same brown black I'm going to cut in her eyes area with the black. Now I want you to do this very, like if you don't do it perfect, that is exactly what I want you to do, is not perfect. I don't want you to look like you, like, like when you're done you have a cartoon face. You want it to look like it's been painted on. So I, I added some water and that's why it's easier for me to paint now. And then we're gonna go in and then do the little tiny nose like that and then the little tiny lips like this like this now I'm going to cut in to give her a uh, face definition what 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 is it beat that face juice mm -hmm. yeah beat I face yeah I, I'm now what, it, what is that what I'm doing right now do you see mm -hmm. beating her face yeah so I am Slang. I'm slaying. So there's that. And see how it just pops it right out? So now I'm doing under her eyes. But her eyes are, of course, Day of the Dead. Then the chin area. The other cheek area. And then I'm going to just do the, the highlights of the, of the neck and the shoulder. And then I'm going to draw on the eyebrows like this. And then draw in the little uh, spider web. E evil clients come in to watch the baby. Just farted. Who did? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a special tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Go ducks." <laughs> go ducks. <laughs> so then you go around, like with the little dots. And I'm gonna make her lips really ruby red. Then I'm going to use a gray. I'm not going to use pure white. It's going to be a light, light gray. 
and I want her eyes to be kind of big. I want her to look like a porcelain doll. Okay. So I'm going to do a green and a black and make a dark green and do some eyeballs. And see how the gray looks white? It's because if I did white, it would look too scary. It would look like she was had been possessed and this is like kind of like in between uh, Halloween and Thanksgiving, so I don't want possessed right now. So I'm putting on her eyeliner. <laughs> and her little eye pupil. And then that now she has her hair. So her hair is going to go in and frame her face with the black. I want to, to frame the face with black first. And And then I will add um, leaves accordingly. So I'm going to make a leaf like in, in greens and in uh, reds and in oranges and just cover her in leaves, maybe some berries, maybe some stones with berries on them. But um, I am going to put the 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 little little stitching stitching on on her lips, and then I will highlight her lips with that cranberry with a little bit of white. Oh, there she's here! Thank goodness. Okay, everything's <laughs> happy. Oh my gosh, he knows that she's here. That's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to um, do some faux marbling on one. So I take, I take that same cranberry red that I have out, and I'm just pushing along with a lot of water, like a lot. It and just pushing like it. Yeah, like dried blood. Mm -hmm. And then like this. It'll be like this. Day of the dead, dried blood. So that'll dry. Then I'm going to take that same uh, color, and I'm going to mix it with um, a little bit of black and then we're going to put little leaves here and they'll be all different and just kind of that then na, 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 even more black I will follow that around, almost touching. And that's leaving like a vein. And you just want to go with the natural line that the paint makes for you to draw along. Then you take that champagne gold and you press up against that line on the other side and then it makes it look three-dimensional. See, that is not uh, um, 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 watered down. I'm going right up against it. I have full control of this paint. So one paint you don't really have control of, you kind of let it run and then you let it dry and then you use the your where you have control and then you push in and then you make the marble look. See? So it looks marbled and it looks really pretty. So I'm I will do lastly, I will get an opal polish and the opal polish will go and highlight. 
where do I have one? Oh, oh, right here, juice, opal, there's one. So mm -hmm. this one is called uh, Angel White by Station. This is a great opal polish, by the mm -hmm. way. I love it a lot. And I just will go over into some areas like this and highlight. And the pinks will be drawn out through the cranberry. And it adds another effect over the top. Okay, so I have um, the dark red and black mixed together right here. And I'm going to go in into a pattern like this. And this will be so cute with the Day of the Dead Girls. And I'm deciding on whether or not I want to put little skulls in the center, like flowers, or berries or stones but anything like that's that's perfect for fall would be awesome here so it's up to whatever you guys want in the centers of these because I think skulls would be awesome <laughs> that would be a design all by itself so there's that and then I'm finishing this and I'll meet you back okay so I'm going in with a little tiny bit of gold and I might have made a huge mistake with this tutorial I changed the sim card and i'm hoping that it's okay but i'm going to go in like this push it and go around and i'm using gold paint full throttle no no uh water added and it's by folk art it's beautiful right here oh ceram coat sorry it was a dollar oh, happy so i'm going in and just pushing in circles but just i'm taking my brush and making little tiny circles and what that's doing is making like a fall flower, like a chrysanthemum, and uh, like that. And then I tush, push, push and turn, push and turn, push and turn. And they don't have to be perfect. All I'm trying to do is get a cluster of gold sparkles into like circles. So when it's finished, you have the flowers, then you have the marble, then you have the, the girl, and then you have the, the leaves, and then on the thumb there are the leaves. Now oh, what I've done is I've, I've highlighted around on the girls, and, um, and I put some dots around for her jewelry, and then I'm going into the center with the jewelry, like this. And then um, on, the, on the red, I'm gonna dot in and make like cranberries on a few. And then on the other girl, I put like a little uh, skull necklace and um, I'm keeping it really um, hand painted. I was really in the mood to hand paint today. So um, in the centers and on the edges I'm going to use some, uh, some gold glitter and some stones just to, just to top off and then I'm going to top coat and I'll meet you back. Okay so here is the end result. Let me show you some Day of the Dead Girls for okay. fall. Woo! Those are gorgeous. I hope you guys try these and show me on my Instagram. Please tag me, Robin Moses Nail Art or Sisterhood of, Inst of Nail Art. Sisterhood of Nail Art, yeah. Um, hashtag Robin Moses Nail Art. Or no, wait, hashtag inspired by Robin Moses Nail Art. Yay! Inspired by Robin Moses. Just oh, yeah, hashtag me. Robin Just Moses. keep hashtagging me and keep trying these tutorials and showing me. And I will see them. I try to look for them and I try to keep up to date and like them. So if I'm not liking yours or if I haven't seen them, make sure by tagging me. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I use the same brushes for all of my tutorials, and you can get them at robinmosesnailart.com. And am I forgetting anything, Juicy? No. Yay! Everybody have a wonderful day, and I hope you like these. These are beautiful in person. I'll get pictures for my blog right now. Bye! 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 Bye. <laughs>